my youtube channel please if you have not subscribed please subscribe as to do so may god bless you in jesus name inshallah and for those of you that have subscribed i pray may god grant your heart desire this year in the mighty name of jesus amen my lovely fans hmm, judy austin ekwensu romansi mami water hey <laughs> amata don't go far you see this life whatsoever you sow is what you shall reap Juju Ekwensu was throwing different kind of arrows to me Edoshe and her children because she wants to collect a man. Just a man, oh. Man, see, get man. It's not Dangote. It's not E-Money. It's not even Obi Kubana. It's just Yul Edoshe. <laughs> because of just Yul Edoshe, Ekwensu Romasi Mami Wata was fighting me edoshe both physically and spiritually that woman went through a lot that if she writes a book hey he go say he go say not be small hmm. according to the information of juju who fought me edoshe but god in heaven i stand for me edoshe if it was not god hey remember they say all power belongs to god it was god almighty el shaddai eloe that stood for me edoshe that is the reason una see and say me edoshe even still the waka till today but unfortunately during this big battle she lost her son mm, my people may so rest in perfect peace Juju Ekwensu thought that she can control everybody. She can take over everything because she was possessed by the demon of the Marie Kingdom. She believed that she had the power to bring all her enemies down in her feet. But unfortunately for Juju Ekwensu, the battle line is drawn. According to what we all know, the battle has been going on for a long time. Though the Edoshe family, especially Pete Edoshe family, they are the kind of family that do not bring their matters to the social media. According to the information, this family has been fighting a lot just to free their son, Yule Edoshe, from Juju Ekwensu because they finally find out that Juju Ekwensu is dragging their names to the mud. So they want her to leave their son alone. There is nothing this family has not tried. They even used Rita Edoshe to fight Juju Ekwensu, yet nothing happened. Hmm, my people, it was all talk talk and Juju Ekwensu refused to listen to what people are saying because when you talk to her in the day physical, she will come in the night and strike. My people, it was not an easy battle, but God protected me, Edoshe, and her family. But today, my people, Kama has come visiting Juju Ekwensu. Hmm. Carry your chair, carry your joko. Watch this video from the beginning to the end. <laughs> and make sure you subscribe, like, and also share my video. According to the information flying right now, my people, they've let us to know that there is somebody that can bring a Kwensu Romasi Mami water down. There is only one person that Juju Kwensu has ever put her knees down for. And that person is no other person, but my lovely fans ernest obi ernest obi according to the information pete edoshe have visited him to tell you that these people they're not a joke at all juju Ekwensu has become a load upon their head they want to throw her away if the edoshe have every opportunity to chase juju Ekwensu right now they go do them because she has brought nothing but shame and disgrace to the family a family that nobody has ever even know their secret everybody was a fan to yule doshi everybody loved yule doshi but nobody was interested so much in his family issue because we know that he was married and he was living very happily with his family also the same thing with pete edoshi pete edoshi try his possible best as famous as he was to hide his family from the social media mm. But somebody came in, which is Juju Ekwensu. The first thing she could do was to advise Yule Doshe to announce her and her son 
in the public, in the social media. And ever since then, the whole family of the Edoshi, all their matters have been in the social media. And this is what they say Pete Edoshi tried his possible best, as famous as he was, to prevent all the stories of his family to be in the social media. My lovely fans, but today, the family of the Edoshi, they are not happy with Juju Ekwensu. They are very sad the way she has brought their name into the mud. They have been trying every possible best to make sure they send her away. It has been a tough battle. Some people might not understand when it comes to spiritual battle. Spiritual battle is not a physical battle. In the spiritual, it takes powers for someone to win a battle. You need to know your stand. You need to know your powers before you challenge the other person opponent in the spiritual wearings. So, my lovely fans, we all know that Ugezu, J. Ugezu, has been helping the Edoshe family. If not, Jujueko and Sushuda would have taken over everybody in that family. But unfortunately for her, Ugezu, J. Ugezu stood for the Edoshe family and put them into the right way. But now, my people, they don't carry matter. Give person when it be, say, the same water person like Juju Ekwensu. This is coming from NSOB that we all know that says he is a traditionalist. And not just only a traditionalist, he is from the water. He is a water child. He has always let us know that he is a water child. He is a Christian. He believes in God. He serves God. Yes, he goes to church. But he says he is a water child that he is from the water and he belongs to the water so if you don't understand you can leave your comment in the comment section people that understand how it works we explain to you how it can be you can be a christian and still be a water child so according to the information the matter of juju equation was taken to him as the gods directed my lovely fans to shock you all Pete Edoshe visited Ernest Obi. This matter is getting tougher. My lovely fans, Pete Edoshe visited Ernest Obi in his location where they were shooting. <laughs> My people, we all know that Ernest Obi is a director, he's also a producer. Pete Edoshe paid unexpected visits to them. <laughs> My people, it is not a small matter. Peter Doshe pay a visit to Ernest Obi. My people, according to the informational matter, don't tire apart. After Ernest Obi, Juju Ekwensu called Ernest Obi, begging Ernest Obi by people. Now, there they know, say, Juju Ekwensu don't reach a last bus stop. So, according to the information, they say, Pete Edoshe went to visit Ernest Obi for where he for they do a movie. Mm, my people. The Ebu Bedike himself, Pete Edoshi, hmm. they said when he hear what they happen to Juju Ekwensu, how Judy Austin went on her knees begging. The Pete Edoshi took it upon himself, quick, quick, go visit Ernest Obi. And according to the information, <laughs> they said Ernest Obi opened Pete Edoshi eyes widely to see things. My people, Yule Edoshi needs prayer. Hmm. Pray out now, you let Doshi need. They say Ernest to be told Peter Doshi hmm, that the Draco and Sue Romasi Mami Water is not anybody that you can go close to, that she don't have even a conscience, she not get, she can even hurt her own children when her anger comes. Hey, Peter Doshi surprised my people make her not to release many things when they talk because you know, say a queen Sue Romasi Mami Water. Not be my mat now. She for go get them. Make she dead there. They wait until the arrow away won't strike her. Go hit her. Not be my mat now. She for go get all. A lot of things they said. Don't worry, my lovely fans. Time will come. I will just you. They said a lot of things, my people. Many things that Ernest will be open to Peter Doshe. Peter Doshe open his eyes. You let Doshe was a scapegoat. I wish you let Doshe avoided Juju Ekwensu. All these things will not happen to him. You know the devil, the first thing they use to drag men is either money or women. Those two things, now they buy man for this world. Woman with money. 
They use Juju Ekwensu, they carry you like Doshe, deceive him as a married man that is supposed to keep his third leg. He go open now, Jigidi, for where Juju Ekwensu day. That is what they use to cut to get you like Doshe. He committed an adultery. An adultery is a sin. When you commit a sin as a Christian, the Spirit of God in you will go down. The Spirit of God will leave you because they are clean and innocent. They are pure like a, like a white cloth. They don't want anything to stand there. The moment you commit adultery, they will leave your body and the devil will take over. That is what happened to you, Edoshe. The moment they deceived him with Juju Ekwensu and he committed adultery, that was how they lured you, Edoshe, into their kingdom. My people, many things they said Ernest to be told Pete Edoshe about his son, you, Edoshe. Not be small matter. <laughs> According to them, a lot of things that is happening right now to Juju Ekwensu not be ordinary hands. Hmm. You see this life we are living. Let me still talk small, my people. You see this life, many things that happen to us that we think that is just ordinary. Most of them are not ordinary. They say the thing whether they do in secret, most of them like they affect Juju Ekwensu right now. A lot of things that, that like there is a battle going on between Juju Ekwensu and people when he pass on. Because Juju Ekwensu is surprised that the pit and the family they no want rest for a matter all they want is for her to leave their son alone my people matter tyra pao ernest to be say it is not going to be an easy battle because you let doshe they don't already saw him to the chai and according to him he said before anything can be done to you let doshe they need to clean you let doshe spiritually is smelling when you commit too much sin in the physical world in the spiritual you'll be smelling they don't say the person uh abomination or anything no when you commit sins in the physical that affects the spiritual the more sin you commit, the more you begin to smell in the spiritual realms. So according to the spiritualists, they always use the word smell. They'll say the person is smelling in the spiritual world. So my people, according to what we're hearing now, they say you like Doshe, eh? <laughs> what God cannot do does not exist. Now you go free this man. Finished finish you like Doshe to the last call. And according to what NS to be chalk pit Edoshe also with, hmm, is that pit Edoshe should make sure try his possible best never and ever to accept juju equensu children according to him he said those children eh, all those ones are water children children where they come from inside water they will bring nothing but disaster into family because they came with evil mind like their mother their mother is evil definitely she don't pass her to the children my people they say her huh, though they meet juju so a lot of things is happening to her and it is not ordinary it is the battle that is why juju so her they meet her if you watch these days now only you let those shade that they shoot juju so never enter she has been trying her possible best to make sure she come out with you let those shade. but you let those shade, don't see carry a cloth enter inside car with anger when he said they walk her up and down again, call devil does he conk their head. Hey, my people, and we all know, according to what they told us, so that you let Doshe case right now, eh? Say now what God cannot do does not exist. Now you go save him. Because Juju Kwensu is ready to finish this man. According to one secret, when I go release for now, they say Juju Kwensu says she will not leave you like Doshe for another person. Say she will not even leave you like Doshe to return back to me, Edoshe. That is going to tear him. Him, spiritually tear him you know what it means physical when they tear person spiritual physical you are no more so that is what she said she said nobody will take him and nobody will collect him and he will not go back to his family now he hand now you like doshi for go end the story my people all these things many oh, when they tell peter doshi peter doshi he put hand for waist they said the man put hand for his cheeks in the thing say hey what did you like doshi brought into their family my people and to be make peter doshe to know that the best thing for them to do as a family is for them to reject all those things which they call their grandchildren because those ones they'll be a thorn in the flesh of the generation upon generation because they will be sharing a bloodline with their doshe family and that is very
very bad for the Edoche family. They will use it to attack. They will use it to attack their generation. My people will not see a generation problem till they start. You let Doshe don't go carry generation problem. We know they their Doshe family, we know they their lineage. Carry and walk on face their their family now. You see how the parents and parents and parents, our great great grandfather, they will cause generation cause for people for grand. These children now they are not of the Edoshi. But if they are accepted into the Edoshi, they will now become a thorn in the flesh of every child that will be born into this family. Hey my people we need to be really prayerful. Things are happening in the spiritual realms. A lot of people do not understand this but people that understand they will understand where i'm coming from spiritual battle is too much the attack is too much we need to be prayerful we need to be strong now all the evil that juju ekwensu planned all the arrow where she threw go give me a doshi now you can see our karma can be so sweet those battle now you know the battle around with me a doshi again may a doshi don't clear come off the road now she don't jam a match because Right now, they say everything that is happening to Juju Ekwensu, say it is not ordinary. It is the Edoche family. Now, they, they do everything to make sure, say Juju Ekwensu, run out of the life of Yule Edoche. Not walk, oh, run. May she run out of the life of their son, Yule Edoche. And right now, they don't meet the right person. When they go feel bring Juju Ekwensu down, my people, we should all pray that he should not be bribed. Yes, there is a reason I say this. Listen, my people. If you have any spiritual father, any spiritual mother, anybody that is standing for you, your pastor, it can even be your pastor, it can even be anybody that is spiritually strong that is standing for you. All you need to pray for that person is that may God not allow that person to take bribe. Because in the spiritual realms, they don't fight like physical. They will come and negotiate with you. That person you are standing for, you are fighting for, we will give you something like these powers in the spiritual realms they fight for powers they don't fight for riches they don't fight for money they don't fight for cars how they fight for power the more powerful you are the more you have powers or you have more um opportunity in the spiritual realms so they can come to that person standing for you and bribe that person by giving that person more powers. If that person is not a pure person, the person will accept powers. And you will not know what is happening. You will still be going to that person seeking solution. Not knowing that your enemies have already bribed your spiritual father or your spiritual mother. And what they will be doing to you is just only manipulating you. They will continue to give you more problems. They will continue to give you more pains. You go to talk, the man, your spiritual father or your spiritual mother will be telling you is your your father's side is your mother's side they don't want to leave you let's give them sacrifice no it is because they have taken bribe from your enemies and they are now working with your enemies against you that's why if you have a spiritual father a spiritual mother a spiritual whatsoever you have anybody even your pastor because even the devil the demons they negotiate with pastors Better strong pastor, not be pastor where they go collect power for river at the top. Better pastors, they come to them, they negotiate with them. So you should always pray that anybody that is your spiritual father, your spiritual mother, your pastor that prays for you every day, anybody at all that prays for you every day, that God should not allow them to take bribe from your enemy. The moment they take bribe from your enemy, your own don't finish. So my people, this is what the Edoche family should pray because we all know that NSOB is also a water child. He's very powerful according to what they say. When I mean powerful, he's not powerful than God though because some people can't drag me. He's powerful, he's more powerful than Judy Austin in the water kingdom. So, he's the only person that Judy Ekwe so have ever put a two knees down. That means this person is very powerful in the water kingdom. So, my people, this is the person that is fighting that they have carried Judy Ekwe so case go give now. You see, say person where they throw arrow hmm. when they are all come. <laughs> when they are all come, they're not going to see mats, even take cry, come aside. Juju is going through a lot, but she cannot 
she cannot come aside to cry. She cannot come aside to tell us what she's going through. Because hand does the meet hand. A lot is happening to Juju Ekwensu. Juju Ekwensu is going through a lot right now. Many things don't get K leg for her. <laughs> My people, for Peter Doshe to visit NS to be, that means something is fishing. Like my video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. As you do so, may God bless you in Jesus' name, inshallah. And for all of you that are subscribed, I pray may the light of God shine upon you and your family. In Jesus' name, inshallah. Amen.